Welcome back to Life with Liz. Today's video is a massive Sam's Club and Walmart grocery haul. You know, if you've watched any of my other grocery hauls, this is an amazing amount of stuff because I am just a household of two adults and one toddler. So this is a lot of stuff for us. <laughs> But anyhow, we're gonna get right into it. I did spend about $260, so $175 of that was at Sam's Club and the rest was at Walmart. Most of this haul is from Sam's Club. So please subscribe if you are new and let's get right to it. So to starting off with Sam's Club, per usual, our ground beef. We have two of the three packs. This is my favorite way to buy it because it's in one, pet, one pound portions already and I don't have to top it up or anything. So love that and I always get the 93.7. Then I got this big thing of mushrooms. We're gonna have chicken fajitas one night and some other things that mushrooms would be good with. So I just went ahead and picked up this big pack from Sam's plus it's like 280 for this big package. That's pretty much what you pay for a small one at the regular grocery store. So might as well. Anyhow, we also got this huge pack of batteries, 48 AA batteries, and they are the Members Mark brand, and I think it was like 15 bucks for this entire thing, which is a steal. Um, and then also we got a thing of eggs, and then this huge container of spring mix, but I wanted to grab this to try to eat more salads. I would like to eat at least one salad a day for the next week, so that's my goal. And then also I have some meals planned that I actually needed this for. And then we got some tomatoes. Lots of recipes are gonna be calling for tomatoes in the next two weeks, so I just went ahead and grabbed this huge container. I think it's like six bucks for this giant <laughs> amount of tomatoes. And usually at your regular grocery store, it's what, like four bucks for a tiny one, for a pint size. So this is really good deal, if you ask me. And then I also picked up this three pounds of banana. It's like, I don't know, $1.80 or something for three pounds worth. I think that's a good deal. Everything at Sam's is always a good deal to me. <laughs> I'm going to say that 40,000 times. But anyways, also we got this six pack of green peppers per the fact that I'm making the chicken fajitas, of course, and then also some other recipes. And if I do have extra, I'll just chop them up and freeze them. And it makes it super easy to use them later. And then... We got some more barbecue sauce. We have spicy barbecue sauce because I buy it from someone in Arkansas, which is just south of us. I live in Missouri, if you're new around here. But anyways, so I usually buy the spicy one from him and then we get Sweet Baby Ray's for our regular barbecue sauce. Then we also picked up some laundry detergent and milk, of course, because I have a one and a half year old, so milk is a necessity around here some more uh, members mark version of dawn and it works just the same and then lily needed some more fruit cups and i was not planning on going to aldi like i normally go so um most of my grocery hauls usually include aldi but anyhow so um i got this pack of fruit cups from sam's and then i needed coffee because coffee is life and i literally ran out i was buying starbucks for like three days because i was out of coffee but anyhow then I got this massive thing of paper towels. This lasts us like three, four months usually. So I think that's pretty good. And we just put this at the top of our closet because we have so much storage space in there we do not use. So it's a great place to put all of that. And then the last thing for Sam's Club is actually that big box of diapers. So it's a one month supply of size five diapers. And I think it's 40 bucks. I think it's 40 bucks, 48. I don't know, sometimes it's on sale. I think it was actually $3 off this time. So it was about 40 bucks, but for a one month supply of Huggies, it's so good. <laughs> so now for the Walmart side, my husband was with me, so that means we get extra crap we don't need. So um, Tostino's pizza rolls, we got this mashed cauliflower, the cheddar and bacon. If you guys haven't had this, you need to try it. Like Lily actually likes this more than mashed potatoes. And then my husband actually approves, and he's the pickiest eater in the world. So if he approves and you have a picky eater, they will probably approve. <laughs> it's really good. And I just add cheese to the top when I'm baking it. You bake it for like 45 minutes. That's kind of the downfall is that it bakes forever. But um, anyhow, I put cheese over the top for the last part, like the last 15, 10 minutes, and let that melt. And oh, yeah, so good. And then 
I got bread, which I've already dug into because I made French toast this morning. So that's why I got this bread because once again, my picky eater husband will only eat this bread. Then we had to pick up socks for Lily. She needed more socks. And yes, these are 16 to 18 months, but she has small feet. She wears size um, five shoes. So she kind of has small feet for a one and a half year old, I think. So more socks for her. And then pack of Doritos. I buy it like this because if I buy the big bag of Doritos, I will eat the entire bag. And for those of you that are new, I am on Weight Watchers and that's not going to work. <laughs> so anyways, I got this small bag because I'm going to make taco salad one night. So I always like to pick up this small bag that limits us. And my husband will eat most of them anyway, so I'll have very few left. Works out great. Then I picked up just um, some uh, cotton swabs, but I don't, I'm not like a name brand cotton swab person. I know some people are, but I really don't care. And then we get these ones for Lily. They are the safety ones. So they have the small end at the end and then they go into a bigger part so it doesn't go too far into their eardrum. I highly recommend these and it's good for squirming, squirming little kids too. She is a squirmer for sure. So uh, I always just pick up a couple of those. They do run out, so I go ahead and at least pick up two. And then we have these tea bags. This is $1 for 100 tea bags, but um, they are tagless, so it's super great to make sweet tea at home, and that's what we do with it. And then we got these snack holders. Lily had these. We got them at her baby shower. I have no idea where they went. Literally, they just disappeared. So, anyways, we got more of those. I don't know what happened to them. We also had to pick up light bulbs for the chandelier above this kitchen table. Because, yeah, <laughs> we're out. Um, and then chili seasoning. I am going to make chili one more time before it is super warm outside. And then I typically don't make chili. So, I wanted to make it one more time. I usually like using the chili brick, but I just used, uh, I'm just doing a seasoning packet this time just because sometimes that's easier. And then um, some zucchini. Don't know why I couldn't think what they were called for a second. Um, some onions. And then this is for the chili. So tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. If you haven't seen my chili recipe video, I'll definitely link it here for you. It's so good and so easy. Kidney beans and black beans. I did, I have won pretty much every year at work for the chili cook-off, so it's seriously a good recipe. <laughs> Big thing of corn for a little side dish I'm gonna make that's also going to include feta. And then Lily and Brian have been sick since Friday, so that's been fun. And I need to get more Pedialyte for Lily. She has been liking this strawberry lemonade flavor got to keep whatever I can in her and then we already broke into this too for the French toast but the best of course and we also got a new tea jug we've been using the Ikea like half gallon and my husband's over that he's like I am so tired of doing half gallons and then soy milk um, I do not normally buy soy milk but because Lily has a stomach bug we had to switch to this for now until she's over that because the other one is upsetting her stomach, the regular milk. Anyhow, and then also this sausage, I just like to cut this up and put it with some peppers, some onions, probably some of the mushrooms, cook it all up together. It's so good, so easy. And I also do the zucchini with that too. And then chicken wings, we got a Traeger grill and we actually have all of our stuff coming for it. So we're gonna try to make these on the Traeger. And that's everything for this grocery haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please come in the comments and let me know if you shop at Sam's Club, at Costco. We're actually getting at Costco, so I'm super excited to be able to compare the two. I might make a video in comparison, like, <laughs> of the two places. So you'll have to let me know if you're interested in that video down below. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys had a great weekend, and you have a great week coming up here. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back here on Wednesday with a brand new video. Subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching.